Говорит Москва. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Wolfie Not Cool, and we're gonna be attacking a bandit camp, or at least making sure it's clear. So in this episode of DR Survival, we found out a little doctor got ambushed by looters, bandits. We're gonna go say hello, if they're even there. Arriving at the abandoned bandits hideout, we find a couple of dead bodies, a human skeleton, and one that looks awfully like the nurse, the doctor. The doctor's diary. Well, we were right, unfortunately. Yesterday, when I was cooking dinner, I saw a mushroom cloud over Vishera. If they've got enough firepower to bomb villages, then Leningrad is surely rubble by now. Yesterday, two people were brought to me. They were very badly irradiated. Bruiser said, Svetka, either you get them back on their feet, or I leave you without any. But they're not residents here. I'm not even going to waste any medications on them. I don't understand what's going on. Who's bombing us, and more importantly, how are these thugs immune to the virus? Bruiser says they've only lost three guys in total since the outbreak. Interesting. I can't bury her, unfortunately, as I did not pick uh, the shovel up. But let's let's check. You never know. They had to do something to dispose of the body, you never know. There's another note that I just found. I don't know how, but I did it. I added violet mushroom concentrate to the soup along with the whole pack of rat poison I found in the cellar. And just before lunch, I gave myself a double dose of apple morphine. As usual, they made me eat with them. They were afraid that I would poison them. As I swallowed down the vile soup, I hoped that the em emetic would kick in quickly enough. I ate my last spoonful, stood over the table, and that's the last thing I remember. And now, they're all dead. I need to leave. I've got some things together. I'm going to follow the train track south to Tver. People were sighted there a week ago. I want to break that open to see what was inside. We got some assault rifle ammo. That is... Excellent. Uh, we got a TT that's a little damaged. Does double damage to armor. 15 to 30 damage. I want to pick... Actually, let me disassemble two and I'll pick one up. We have the capacity to do so, so that's fine. And since we're here, we're going to be disassembling everything. There you go. We leveled up. More disassembly required. Better than nothing. Let's open this up. A lot of goodies. A lot of goodies. What is this? Stew meat. That looks interesting. Let's go ahead and eat that. Drink one. And in house. It has a rest bonus of 100%. I could change that into a wooden house, a comfortable house where you can have a good rest. Wow. Now this is very interesting. The current one gives us a rest bonus of 100%. I think that is great. Scrap cloth. Mm. It feels like we need to leave our items here. We don't need to take everything with this. Just taking the food. Some of the stuff that I'll be using to repair. The water. We'll keep the wood here. Might take a nap. Can't get firewood here, so that's not of a big issue. Let's go ahead and get our perks sorted out. We have Need for Speed, Strapping Lad, which I already know I'm going to go for that. More HP, because why not? Perfect. I found where they kept Svetlana. She was held captive until January 1985. After that, she set off towards Tver. 
Even though five years have passed, there's a chance she's still there. But first, I need to head back to the tourist camp and figure out if there's even a settlement of survivors in that direction. But that's our uh, current goal, is to go back to the tourist camp. We'll be using the road for now. But I'll fast forward, and if we get into any trouble, I'll uh, make sure to record that. Right, we're almost there. I actually wanted to ask you guys, the viewers, how these episodes are going. Do you have any feedback on them? Do you feel like they're too short, or would you add anything? You know, I try to produce quality content, and I don't like rushing or making a lot of meme type cringy stuff you know jump scare things i don't tr i try not to do stuff like that just because i know how it feels but enough about me uh we're back at the tourist camp so let's go ahead and find someone to talk to the hit guard looks like a good person to speak to the head guard was waiting for me in his office and i explained to him the scenario he asked me if i'm looking for something i said i asked him i want to know if there's a settlement of survivors in Tver. What do you need there? We could really use your help here. I have something important to do. I'm looking for someone. Listen, there's dangers around Moscow. Tver included. That area was a major enemy target, and they were hit hard by the nuclear strikes. Now it's full of radiation. I just thought of something. Help me out a bit here. It'll help you prepare for this dangerous journey you're going on. I'll even throw in some equipment as a thanks. And that way you won't just drop dead when you get there. I, well, I don't know why I would say why do you care, but it's fine. There aren't too many of us left nowadays. We need to help each other out. And you're one... And you're of more use to me if you're still alive. Okay. So... I believe I need to level up, is what they're trying to tell me. I need to get to level 30. And we're only 26, so there's going to be a bunch... Of training montages I guess uh, since we are here I do want to make sure I need I can buy some uh, materials I definitely need to get this that's something I need to get uh, seems like I'll be crafting that uh, motorcycle motorcycle engine real soon let's go ahead and accept uh, these quests and uh, complete them. We'll try to do as many as we can. Right now we're doing good on weight. We're okay. Not too bad. Level 30, eh? Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, deal with this buggers here. Before I do so, I want to make sure my crossbow doesn't break on me. Uh, I'll go ahead and switch to the poison. Gives me the opportunity to save some of the repair cost looking at it that's the closest quest objective that I have we got attacked by a giant ant that's not great why why would you choose to attack me friend who the hell is that He's not an enemy. Uh, okay, fella. I mean, let's see what you got. Who is that? I'm confused on who that is. Oh, man. He Guy's pretty armored. I should be able to finish him off, actually. I don't even need to wait. Who the hell was that? You saw that, right? Interesting. 70 radiation. We're getting massively irradiated, and that is not good. Looks like traveling in the wasteland is not a good idea. All right, let's stop right there. It's getting uh, pretty bad. So let's go ahead and drink uh, some vodka. For now, or even the cold tea that I made. Let's just drink it up. Let's reduce that 
radiation that we're suffering from. Now, I believe I can actually... Oh, I just still don't have enough. Let's make ourselves the... Uh, rag. Dust mask. And it is right there. It helps us traverse past the radioactive wasteland without getting too irradiated, which is going to happen again when we reach that little spot. Go, we're okay so far. We need to stay closer to the roads. I believe that's the best way to do it. Tosno's nearby too, so we can check that out. I arrived at the location. Only a few minutes have passed before I was attacked by a pack of wolves. So we've got wolves to deal with now. Ready. Uh, can I get them at a choke point? Kinda. Miss though. One, two. Who is this fella? Really, who who is he? And why is he here? He doesn't do anything. I am so confused. Can I actually attack him from here? I need to be able to shoot. Oh, 34%. I'm taking the chance. Yes. Now I'll run back. And we will end our turn to wait to see what happens. It is a... Uh, is it the... Who? Who is that? Just survivors? What's going on? I need to shoot him. We just gotta... Yeah. Hey, you got bullets to spare. I'll take it. 250 experience just like that. Great. Let's pick everything up. Uh, we'll cross Tosno real quick. We're trying to figure out where's a good spot for us to start putting a little base. Uh, 3.25. Yeah, we can't. We need to stay on the roads. Definitely stay out of the radioactive areas. Over here is fine. Go ahead and get ourselves a fire going. Uh, definitely have to use our little radiation poisoning. Get a little closer so I can get to the forest to chop some wood. And will that allow me to make a fire outside? Yes, it will. Okay, that's perfect. I could stand just outside the zone. Get these items all sorted out. Now, we were trying to make ourselves this mask. We still don't have enough bone glue, unfortunately, but that's not a, not a big deal. Let's get something to cook. It's time to fry up that meat for our birdie. That way it gets satiated. In three. And we have that to deal with. One, two, three, four, five. And the fish. Let's see if we can add more of the hardy charters. I can get some rich going. I don't think I'm gonna make two actually. There you go. Perfect. That being said and done, I am able to eat some of that. That's going to give us radiation. I'm going to keep it for our bird. Take a little nap, and I think this is the best time for me to end the episode as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, guys. Make sure to share the video if you like, and if I have earned it, do subscribe.